Welcome to our lecture online and here we're going to learn how to multiply at least through one method there's many different methods how to multiply two two digit numbers together what we've done here is taken up for example the number tw the multiplication 12 times 12 the number 12 can be split up into 10 plus 2 and the other number 12 can be split up in 10 and 2 in other words when we multiply 12 times 12 it's the same thing as multiplying 10 times 10 10 times 2, 10 times 2, and 2 times 2. In other words, each of these four sections represents one of the four multiplications enclosed in multiplying 12 by 12. In other words, if I multiply 10 times 10, I get 100. If I multiply 10 times 2, I get 20. If I multiply this 10 times this 2, I get 20 over here. I multiply this 2 times this 2, I get the number 4. And all we have to do now is add those numbers together. Therefore, 12 times 12 is the same as adding 100 plus 20 plus 20 plus 4. So we can say that 12 times 12 is equal to 100 plus 20 plus 20 plus 4. And 100 plus 20 is 120. 120 plus 20 is 140. 140 plus 4 is 144. That's the reason why we do that, not only to come up with a clever, neat technique to enable us to do it easily, it also helps us understand what multiplication with two-digit numbers actually is. It's multiplying 10 times 10, which is 100. This 10 times this 2, which gives us 20. This 10 by this 2, which gives us the other 20. And then 2 times 2, which gives us the 4. And this graphically represents what that multiplication is. Let's try the numbers 25 and 14. 25 can be written as 20 and 5, 14 can be written as 10 and 4. So here I'm multiplying the 20 times the 10, that gives me 200. Here I'm going to multiply the 10 times the 5, which gives me 50. Here I'm going to multiply the 20 times the 4, which gives me 80. And finally, 5 times 4, which gives me 20. And all I have to do is add all these together. Now notice that 20 plus 80 is 100. 100 plus 200 is 300, and 300 plus 50 is equal to 350. So it makes it pretty easy. Now the trick is to be able to do that in your head without writing anything down. But before we do that, I would recommend that you do this a number of times to get familiar with the process. So now you can say, okay, when I see 25 times 14, really what I'm seeing is I'm seeing 20 times 10. I'm seeing 20 times 4. I'm seeing 10 times 5, and I see 5 times 4. When I add them all together, I get 200, I get 80, I get 50, and I get 20. And then it's easy to add the 80 and the 20, that gives me 100. Add up to 200 gives me 300, add up to 50 gives me 350. All together, when I multiply 25 times 14, I get 350. So it's a really neat technique. And I would think you should practice that a number of times. For example, let's try something else. Let's try the number 36 times uh, 42. So you make a square, you draw a line here, you draw a line there. You don't really care how big those lines are. 36 is 30 and 6. 42 is 40 and 2. 30 times 40, 3 times 4 is 12. Add two zeros, you get 1,200. 40 times 6, 6 times 4 is 24, add a 0, you get 240. 30 times 2 is 60, and 6 times 2 is 12. And now all you have to do is add those together. Now 240 plus 60, that's 300, add that to 1200, 1200 plus 300 is 1500, add that to 12, you get 1512. Pretty neat technique, isn't it? Go ahead and give it a try. Try some of these and actually pretty neat when you, once you start getting used to it and it helps you understand how to multiply two-digit numbers together. That's what it's about and that's how we do it.